Let's play a game, shall we? Hey there! For today's video, I thought I'd go a bit old school. I know Doom's old school, but I mean really old school. This is, in fact, Return to Phobos. It is a 1994 CAC Award winner. In other words, this was made for vanilla Doom in mind. Any, literally any version of Doom should be able to run this just fine. And, of course, I'm slapping on Smooth Doom for good measure just because it makes everything look better. We, we good? Alright, let's get started. Oh, look at that, you get a chainsaw right off the bat. And, of course, you gotta use it immediately. Take this. The only thing that'll be a problem is those imps. The pinkies, on the other hand, it's gonna be... What in the world? Well played! Teleporting them into the lava like that, that's... Well played, sir! What in the world? This is already getting crazy. Really? Really? We're already gonna go for the monster horde? Okay. I guess this was this was a slaughter map for its time, huh? Other than go to it, I mean. And this is for Ultimate Doom. This was this was for the first episode. I'm pretty sure the original Doom that wasn't even Ultimate Doom that doesn't even have thy flesh consumed could play this. Probably. Well, like I said, it did come out. In, this did come out in 1994, so so there you go. It is pretty nice, though. You know, considering how old it is, it, it is looking pretty nice. Ooh. Had to say, did you use the deep water glitch? Nah. What the? Cool. That's cool. What's up here? Ah, I see. There's a blue key up there. A blue door up there. There's something that requires me to get a blue key up there. That's what I meant. Man, it doesn't matter what style of map it is. Shotgunners will always be the bait of my existence. And to a lesser extent, Lost Souls, apparently. Mmm, give me some of that med kit. I love it. Oh, nice. Crap. Get out of my way, you piss ant. Out of my way. <laughs> there we go. That's more like it. That's great. What's down here? Okay. I don't think I'm going to go down there. I don't feel like hurting myself for no reason. I'm going to be hurting myself stupidly. There's got to be a reason for it. Oh, whoops. That switch probably does something useful. I don't want to neglect it. So, what the? Son of a... Was that switch one time only, or what? Crap. Did I screw it up? Dad, damn it, I think I screwed it up. That sucks. That freaking sucks. I thought that might have been good for something. Apparently not. Oh, that's, uh... That's something, isn't it? Oh, I see. I get it. Man, this strafe jumping is difficult. Especially for this. Come on, save. I'm waiting for the save screen to do this. For some reason, the quick... Actually, no matter what, it just takes forever. I get it. I get what I gotta do. I gotta do it all the way through. Just doing it once is gonna be difficult. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, chameleon. Yeah, damn it, it was opening up. What was I supposed to do? There we go. That's what you gotta do. Uh, I figured it would do something like that. Because that's gotta be there for a reason, right? I'm assuming that switch does something else. Even though technically you could do that even without because of the infinite thing. You know what I mean. Crap. He's gonna hit the barrels behind him and then he screwed it up, you, you douchebag. Okay. Okay, I get it. I freaking get it. I get the point. Message loud and clear, buddy. They, they were temporary. Oh, look at this. 
This is pretty cool. I love how the level unfolds itself like this. Like I said, I'm I'm really I'm really a big fan of levels like this. That start out small and then they build themselves up and then before you know it you realize they're they're mad, they're pretty big levels. Hiding behind a masquerade of of insignificance. Because it looked as though that they were smaller than they really are. I love it. Oh nice. That's cool. If I had a chain gun, I would probably use ammo enough to necessitate that. What was that for? Just just because, huh? Okay. I'm not gonna question your level design. Even though it is kind of eccentric. I'm just gonna go over here. Okay, there was no need to go over here. Mostly because I don't need that. What in the world? What did that do? What did that switch do? Go straight to hell, Imp. I mean, you came from there, so you should be able to fit right in, huh? I see. I get it. I gotta come back later. Makes perfect sense, at least to me. Dang. Dang it all. Dang, dang is damn it. Wait a minute. Got a blue key. Where's the... Where's, oh, right. The blue door's up there. I keep forgetting things. Everything else happens and then you just forget. Come on, go. Uh, okay. That can happen, apparently. Now then. Oh, nice. I said that I would use the chain gun if... I mean, I would use bullets if I had a chain gun. So the game decided to give me a chain gun. Sweet. I love it. But then where are the red and yellow keys? If it wasn't there, then where the hell are they? That makes no sense. I don't get it. I don't get any of this at all. It just doesn't make any sense to me. What the? Oh, okay. Well, there's my answer. I just happened to find the red key out of nowhere. That makes sense. That wasn't the most intuitive to find because that first one was legitimately a secret. It's one of those key door secrets. You know, like you find an E1M3, you have to go to another secret just to find the yellow key, and then happen to go through that secret to use it. Except this time the key is, the key door itself isn't in a secret location, just the key itself. No, I, or not. Well, not so much. Go to hell, please. Hello, Mr. Cacodemon. You can tell this has more going on than the actual episode one. Whoa, did it just lag there? Did a vanilla style Doom map just lag? I know it's GZ Doom and I've got Smooth Doom stacked onto it, but really? Yeesh. I wonder how I wonder how PCs in the 90s managed this level set. Probably better than mine. Because let's face it, it's more optimized. Vanilla Doom is more optimized for things like this. Than GZ Doom ever is. But then again, it's it's got more to do. That's the whole reason it's a source port. So that it has more functionality. So, of course, it's gonna not be nearly as efficient as the one that doesn't have all these pretty effects in them. Right? Aha, take that imp. Ah, good. I was running a bit low on shells. I'm glad the game is being so generous about them right now. That you stupid imp. Alrighty then. Found my way around there. Now we just need to know where else to go. Oh, that was close. I thought I was gonna get damaged again. Nope. No need. No need at all. There's something up here. There's gotta be, right? Nope. Except for that. That'd be great to have, wouldn't it? Imagine having that on my mantle. By which I mean inside of me. Yeah, that's what I meant. So 
not like I'm gonna use it as a trophy or anything. What are you getting there? This is quite interesting. You know, considering it's a vanilla Doom map, it's got quite a few things going for it. Okay, that wasn't gonna work. I don't know what I was thinking. And heck, vanilla Doom doesn't even have aiming up and down, so how would you even aim for that switch anyway if it was in its intended source port? I should have known that. But yet I didn't. Nah, jumping is cheating. Dun jumping is 100% cheating here. Do not want to do that. Because I'm pretty sure this was made before a source port that even has jumping was made. So I can't just claim, oh, they should have prepared for it. How would they? They would have had no way of knowing that someday someone would make a source port that allows you to jump. Let alone how much it allows you to jump. For some reason that looked like it was a secret. But then again, that's probably just part of the texture. Make it look more detailed. Maybe there's something behind those barrels. Because, you know, sometimes they get, they've got secrets behind barrels. It's happened before. E1M5. Phobos Lab. Like near the beginning, it has that. Okay, where'd you come from? Did you come from somewhere else? Somewhere specific? Or did you come from this general area? All right, I'm gonna figure out where to go. Hang tight real quick. have here this is marked as a door ah, here we go I unleash demons I'm so happy for that seriously can't you just tell just how happy I am that I unleashed demons on myself this clearly that did a lot of good didn't it oh nice at least I got a, I got a rocket launcher What's the point of this? What's the point of any of this? Okay. There's the point of that. Now I'm getting somewhere. What did that do? Did that do anything? Of significance? It probably did. It had to have done at least something. Wait a minute. Let me see if it did something here. I probably should have looked across from it. Oh, look at that. Nicely done. What does that switch do? Nothing. I guess it was supposed to lower that, but it has no purpose now, does it? Okay, good. Took no damage from that. That's very good. Although I doubt I'm going to take no damage from this. I probably should have saved that radiation suit. But how was I supposed to know that this would happen, huh? How was I supposed to know that, you, that this would end up being a mandatory path? I thought it would be like M1, M4, where it's just, you know, optional. Oh well. Oh well, who cares? What matters is that I'm progressing. Ooh, right off the bat, huh? Man, I saw him coming and I still managed to get shot by him. Oh, nice. Yeesh. Okay, it was lagging for a bit there. I don't, I don't get it. Does GZ Doom just lag more when there's more enemies than an earlier source port would? That would seem kind of weird, wouldn't it? I mean, they behave exactly the same. They almost look exactly the same. There didn't appear to be any reason for it to actually lag more. Take that, you jerk. Other than, again, Smooth Doom just adding strain to it. But I don't know if I can blame that, necessarily. Maybe them together it just didn't account for it. That would probably make the most sense. Unfortunately, I already have one of those, so... I'm gonna skip that. Hey, buddy. Hey, friend. 
Good to see all of you. I missed you all. I can't wait to show you my toys of destruction. Oh, nice. Gibbleting them is always a nice treat, isn't it? Ah, I'm actually glad the Spectre stopped the elevator this time. Because I didn't want to have to go back down there. Once is enough. Oh, boy. Sidestep. There we go. That's Oh, nice. Got a plasma rifle, too. Okay, here's a blue key. And you know what? You know what? Screw it. Here's a plasma gun for your trouble. Because we know it... We know it was a bit of a bit of a hassle coming up here, so screw it. Nice, not so nice. Screw you, shotgun sergeants. Ooh, what's this? I see. What in the world? Okay, that's cool. I'm assuming it being visible as doors on the auto map was intentional. Otherwise, this would seem kind of douchey to. Place a mandatory area in some secret air into a secret. I really hope that's the way it was in the original Doom. That it showed them as legitimate as doors on the auto map. Because otherwise that would that would be stupid. Just saying. Crap. You suck. Well, okay. That works. Well, crap. I'm not looking so good. I'm not feeling so good. I'm not looking so good. I'm not sounding so good either. And I'm definitely not smelling so good. But that's the story for another time. You jerks. Oh, crap. I'm definitely not doing good. Crap. I'm not doing well, I mean. For those of you who are grammar Nazis, I'm not doing well. Not that I'm not doing good. I hope you can tell if you're doing good or doing well. Figure out the difference. Irony is not coincidence. I'm gonna stop singing this song before I get copywritten struck. Really? Really? Are you freaking serious? Crush your ceilings, huh? You suck. You really suck. Suck the hard one, that's what you suck. Yeah, take that. Get wrecked. I guess I better save every two seconds just to make sure. All right. Ha, <laughs> you suck. You really suck. Ha, <laughs> take that. Damn it. Thing is, damn it. Okay, good. Very good. I was just informed that something finished downloading. But that's none of your concern, is it? Douchebag. Come on, buddy. Come on. Son of a beaver. Son of a freaking beaver. Screw you, lost souls. I said, screw you, lost souls. Don't you know how to listen? Crap. Making me jumpy. Come on. Come on, you fat blimp. It hit. Deflate. You too. Thank you. There we go. That's better. Now all I gotta do is save over that again. Because I know what's gonna happen. Right. So that's it. It only does it for those. I probably could have just let him get crushed, but I wasn't gonna wait for that. You kidding me? You must be out of your mind if you think I'm gonna wait for that. Oh, okay. Cool. Now I gotta wait for it to slowly go back up. Because it hit something. That's great. What the? Oh, okay, cool. Obviously they do different ones. 
than where they're near, than what they're nearby. So what does this one do? Oh, cool. Never mind. There we go. That was pretty cool. I don't know what that switch does. What the? Okie dokie. I guess it stopped. The crusher ceiling is no more. And this one just goes down on its own, I see. That's cool. That's, that's pretty cool. I suppose. What the? What the world's over here? I know, I know, I jumped, but I could have did it on my own. So does it really matter? I don't think it does. But I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm just me. That's just my opinion. What the? Okay, cool. That's apparently considered a secret for some reason. Don't know why, but hey, I'm not going to question it. If it wants to give me a blue armor and call, it, call itself a secret, then that's its business, eh? At least I actually found a secret. Quote, unquote. You know what? I'm not going to waste any ammo on you. I'm going to go for the ripping and tearing. With the ripping and the tearing and the demons. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Holy crap. That was a pickle of an ambush. That was a... I'm trying to come up with, it's hard to come up with a word that rhymes with bush. That's a... A roosh of an ambush. A rush of an ambush. Yeah, whatever. I don't really care. What's... What's raising? I hear something raising. What's raising? Oh. The crusher ceiling is going again. Made me think it was actually something significant. Jerk. Jerks. How dare you make me think it's something significant. What the? Okay. What's that for? No clue. How do I get out of here? I would really like to get out of here. How do I do that? Maybe like that. That would probably be it. Ah, I see. There's the ticket. I just go up the magic staircase. Right on the magic staircase. Yeah. Probably talking too much, aren't I? Maybe I should have more lulling periods. There we go. Ah, uh, no you don't. I'm gonna get that freaking ammo box one way or the other. Oh. Right. Right. I can't get out this way. Which means I legitimately have to get out that way. Oh, come on, damn it. Become a comedian. Ah, there we go. That's how you stop it. And I just have to go this way. I think, yeah, it leads back out. Of course. The best way to go out is to just go out the way that actually brings you back to where you were before. If that makes any sense whatsoever. It doesn't just sound like me rambling. So, what I normally sound like. Oh crap. You douchebag. This is quite interesting. What the heck? Well then. I just stumbled upon something quite interesting, haven't I? What's down there? Nothing of interest. Not really. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to grab that later. If I actually need it. Because it does have healing. It does have medkits down there. That'll help if I actually find myself getting damaged. What in the world? Cool. Nice. I got a red key. Out of nowhere. I thought I would have to... Holy crap! That was just ridiculous. I need to get prepared for that. Yeesh. I'm gonna need some prep work for that. Crap, I was hoping I'd blow up the barrels as I ran out. There we go. That kinda worked. 
Unfortunately, I didn't kill the shotgun sergeants, but who really cares at this point? Not me, that's for damn sure. Boom. Boom. There we go. What is this? What is this? The nuclear plant or barrels of fun? I'm having way too much fun with this. Take that. And get wrecked, son. Look at all these pathways. Is this just special? Luckily, I've already got a yellow key. I've got one. You thought I wouldn't, but I do. Oh, crap. Barons. Barons. It's a barren wasteland. Sorry. I'm pretty sure that joke has been made before. Millions of times. Like, I'm pretty sure you guys are face palming right now because I said that stupid joke. Crap. Well, there's that. This is getting a little interesting, isn't it? Crap. That was a that was a waste of a good shell, wasn't it? Okay, let's get to those barons. Let's attend to the elderly. Nah, they're not el they're not old. Although they are barons, so they are royalty. Let's attend to the royal family. I've got some business to attend with the royal family. And they don't want me waiting. Ha, <laughs> take that. Get wrecked. People still say that, right? Get wrecked? I think they do. <laughs> they may not have finished you off. In fact, I'm pretty sure that was less efficient than just shooting you, but I don't care. Hurting you via barrel explosion is always worth the price of admission. Even if it does F all to you. As long as it hurts you a little bit. It hurts your pride. It hurts whatever. What in the world is this? It's a dead end here. Kind of, is this, just, is this just a storage room or what? Like just a storage closet hanging out in the middle of nowhere, huh? Okay, I guess I can dig it. And yeah, you do you if you want to waste your space like that. You could have used that for something more efficient. Not just have it be a lot of empty space, but like I said, you do you and I'll do me. Okay, go up, go up. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Ah. Why was that a secret? It's weird some of the things this considers a secret. Just things you could stumble upon without having to actually look for it. I legitimately didn't even know that existed. Well, okay, sometimes you stumble on secrets, but not in that way. Now this just doesn't make any sense. Why are these converging? That's, that's weird. Is that a secret? It looks like it's holding out on this side. No, actually it looks like it's holding out on that side. Whatever side it's on, I really don't care. I just want to get to it. How do you get in there? I'll figure it out. One way or another, I'm gonna find you. I'm gonna find you, find you, find you, find you. One way or another. Even if I have to do something tricky. Wait a minute. I think I might have figured it out. Not entirely sure. Maybe it's connected to this somehow. Well, well then. I don't know what that did, but it had to have done something of significance. Possibly. Maybe. Maybe I can somehow hop onto it from these from this stairwell. The odds probably aren't very good of that, but it looks like it should be possible. Nah, probably not. I'm probably just wasting my time, as always. So, what changed? I don't even know. I don't even know, man. It just seems all weird, all weird and funky. Right, there's a red door over there in there. No way, that's just the exit. I don't even know what that switch did. It's just there randomly, it seems. 
Right, and there's the lava again. There's nothing down there. All right, hang tight real quick. Oh, here we go. You press that switch. And then it opens this. Very interesting. I didn't expect that. What the? Cool. Look at all these interconnected parts. That is awesome. Now that is a secret. I feel good about that being a secret. That is pretty cool. All these interconnected parts. It makes it feel alive. You know what I mean? I love levels like this. I need to make levels like this. In fact, I think I shall. I'll use Unity's true 3D engine to make the kind of moving parts that this could only dream of producing. The only question now is where to go. Because I honestly have no idea on that front. You know what, screw it. There's, there's ammo plenty on this level. It doesn't matter if I grab one box, right? I mean, you guys aren't going to hold it against me too much, right? Still, though, I have I still have no idea where I'm going or where I'm supposed to go. Wait a minute. Is that a switch? In, is that a switch down there? It is. Son of a mother. Son of a mother hemper. I didn't even see that. Did that do anything? Or was that just pointless? Was it pointless? Because I don't see anything that it actually did. Do you? It looks like it didn't change a damn thing. But then again, maybe that's just me. Hang tight again. found another secret. Good for me. There's another secret right there. And all I had to do was look for the door areas. There's one over there too. And a red door that I forgot about. Sorry about that. Sometimes I just completely forget about things. I mean, I can't be expected to remember every single red door I come across. Or any of them for that matter. I mean, we'd be here all night. Right. Oh, crap. Good thing the radiation suit is still active. I'd hate to be taking damage right now. Ha, take that. Nope. I don't think so. Nice. That's just great. What the? It seems to... It's right next to it. But does that carry any significance? Probably not. What was the point of this? There doesn't appear to be any point to this. It just seems like I wasted my time. Again. What the? What's this? That looks peculiar. Nope, that didn't do it. What the? Ah, okay. That's how you get under there. And that's how you get over here, apparently. What did that do? Oh, you sack of crap. I don't know what that did, if it did anything. It probably didn't do much. Oh, okay, there's a switch. Who knows, it might have done something. For all I know. Oh, nice. That's apparently a secret, too. Somehow. And here's another red door that I... No, actually, no, I didn't neglect that at all. I simply forgot it was there. My mistake. Okay, anything else I missed? Well, there's an area right there that I... That seems to be blank. That I haven't explored into yet. 
Or at the very least, I didn't look at yet. Probably because it's in the lava. And there's no point. Because all it'll do is get me hurt. And I don't like getting hurt by lava. It sucks. It hurts. It burns. It burns like hell. In fact, it literally burns like hell. Oh, right. Right, I, I, I get it now. Alright, hang tight again. Never mind. Apparently... Oh, okay. What in the hell was that all about? Crap. Crap. Hopefully I went down this path already. I see, I get it. I kinda figured it, I kinda get it. Kinda. Right, you just had to go through it fast enough. Then you wait for that to go all the way up. And then do this. Very nice. What the? Huh, that's peculiar. I'm finding secrets all over the place. How is it I'm able to find secrets a hell of a lot easier than I'm able to find the actual mandatory spot that the level needs me to go through? That doesn't even make any sense. It's like the levels are easier to find than the actual area you're supposed to go through. I don't, I can't make any sense of this. All right, one last time, hang tight. Well, this is weird. I just opened it up in Doom Builder and it didn't have anything associated with that platform leading to the exit. So that doesn't really make any sense. I'll show you what I mean, but I have to get there first. So bear with me. I'm serious, I opened it up with Doom Builder because I was so lost. I had to figure out what I was supposed to do. And then all of a sudden, it just, just showed nothing. Hang on. Okay, give me a sec. Okay, that platform down there and that exit, nothing around it have anything associated with them. There, there's only one thing that has anything associated with that exiting the level. That is all that happens, so... I guess this this one, this map wasn't completed or something, but... Oh well. At least I can exit it now, huh? I don't feel good about that, but... Apparently that was... That must have been an oversight, because... I didn't see anything associated with it. Yeah, I'm just... If, there's, if there is a way, maybe I'll look it up. I do apologize if there is a way and I ended up cheating my way out of it, but I, I swear I looked everywhere. Everywhere that could be looked in that level. I, have, I had all those keys I could go anywhere. I checked everywhere. There didn't appear to be anything else. I'm sorry, so I'm sorry. Anyway, that's it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Make sure to spread this video around like the lost souls of the damned and I will see you next time. Now go out there and capitalize on life. Peace out, have a good one and have a nice and pleasant day. More pleasant than these imps anyway. See ya.